Hi, in this video, we'll show you how to get started with the Line 6 G10S wireless system. Connect the included power supply into the 9 volt input. Connect your quarter inch instrument cable to the instrument out, then to your amp or your first effect pedal. Turn the channel selector knob to auto, then dock the G10T transmitter in the receiver. The G10S will scan the radio spectrum and sets the system to the best channel. The receiver also charges the transmitter while docked. To play, press down the release latch to remove the G10T and plug into your instrument. That's it. The auto channel option will select the best available channel in the current performance space. When using more than one wireless in the same space, you can use manual channel selection so that one unit does not use the same channel as another. This would happen when one unit is powered off while the other one is scanning the frequency spectrum. When turning through the channels, the RF LEDs will display the amount of interference in red to help find the best channel. Select a channel with the least amount of red LEDs. When using the G10S, the three LEDs on the left show the radio signal strength and quality, the three LEDs on the right show the battery status of the G10T transmitter. When using the instrument out, the cable's length can influence the tone as a longer cable will produce a high frequency roll off. Since the wireless transmitter has no cable, cable tone can simulate the tone a cable would produce. Cable tone can be switched off if that is not desired. If you want a balanced output, connect an XLR cable to the DI out. Both the instrument out and DI out can be connected at the same time if needed. There is no cable tone on the DI out signal. The battery life of a fully charged G10T transmitter is about eight hours. The LED on the G10T shows the current charging state. A flashing red LED means it's time for a charge. When the transmitter is not plugged in, it goes into sleep mode, which can extend the battery life up to several days. As soon as a transmitter is connected to an instrument, it wakes up and will begin passing audio again. The included right angled quarter inch adapter is helpful for some output jack designs so the G10T is not sticking out too far. Other instruments may require the adapter due to their internal wiring. Simply plug the adapter into your instrument, then the G10T into the adapter. G10S uses two high performance antennas and a diversity setup that results in a half dome pattern. Because of this, G10S performs best when set on the floor. To prevent Wi-Fi interference, always first dock the G10T into the receiver in auto mode or check for the best channel when using manual mode and keep a minimum distance of 10 feet from Wi-Fi routers. We hope you enjoy your G10S. Please check out other videos on our channel for additional information. Thanks for watching.